coding in Scratch. That's what we are going to see today. To code in Scratch, you need to know what is a sprite. Sprite is nothing but the character you need to code in Scratch. Using sprites, you can make your own short stories or stories or your own games. There are so many sprites and even you can use your downloaded sprite. Now let's learn about backdrops. Backdrops are nothing but the backgrounds you need to use in your story or game. There are so many backdrops and even you can insert your own backdrops too. Now, let's select our backdrop. Hmm, which one shall we select? Let's select blue sky. This is the coding area. You can assemble the blocks here to code. This is the stage and the block pane. There are different types of default blocks given to you by scratch. Even you can make your own blocks too in my blocks. Now let's go to costumes. Costumes means nothing that but the moment of the sprite. See? Now let's go to sound. Come on, click it. Yeah. Now let's select the sound. There are different types of sounds too. Now let's go to animals and what about meow? Okay. See, it's appeared. Now, go to events. Come on, buddy. Where are like this? Now, take the block. Next, this one. And click on the fly. See. Now, I'm going to type the link there. Now click on the flag, here you can see the link. Now let's see about X and Y axis. They are nothing but grids. See, they just look like grids in graph. Type a number in here, another number. If you want to bring it down, you have to give a negative number in the Y coordinates and if you want to bring it left, you have to give a negative number on the X coordinate. Now let's look at the size. You can increase and decrease the size of a sprite by just typing the size number. Now let's look at directions. There are three modes in directions. In this mode, the sprite rotates up to 360 degrees. 
In this mode, the sprite only turns left and right. And in this mode, the sprite does not move at all. Let's start the project from the next video and bye.